Welcome to another session of our Mass Effect Andromeda playthrough. We're here on the Tempest, where we always seem to end. Um, yesterday, we explored the planet Haval for about four hours, and we did a whole bunch of stuff there. It looks pretty small on the map. It's actually pretty big. Um, I think what I think the plan today is that we're gonna return to that planet because we have a couple of things that we can do. Th this being one of them, another one being the um, the Turians and all that stuff. I don't know where that is. That's somewhere in there. Uh, and then a couple of other things, and then after that, then we'll go ahead and start. The other planet, which is Vold, and that's another one that we have to go to that has a bunch of missions on it that we've got to do. So, we've got that to do. Um, I think the only things that we need to talk to is Jal in there for a mission, and Korra uh, talking about the Asari... Um, the Asari... Uh, arc or whatever I think. I don't think there's anything we need to do in here right now. Okay. Alright, so let's see. Cora Harper, Asari Ark. Cora's message mentioned a potential breakthrough in the search for the Asari Ark. Speak with Cora on the Tempest. Okay. So we've got to talk to to her and then uh Jal. So let's go ahead and do that. Jal romanceable now then? <laughs> Jal. Did you hear the news from Eos? Asari refugees showed up at the outpost. Only a few, but that's better than none. Bradley says there's an officer in charge, Hidaria. She could know where the Ark is. There's an officer in charge, knows where the Ark is. So this requires us to go back to Eos. She can wait. If I say we should speak to her, does that automatically take me there? Because I hope it doesn't. We'll so. head to Eos and see what she knows. Good. Rumor says Sarissa Theris was on the Asari Ark. Exactly who we need. Who's she? Probably the best commando strategist alive. Her biotic shields saved hundreds at the Battle of Kirkus. Apparently, Sarissa's acting as bodyguard to the Asari Pathfinder. She's probably got a plan out of this mess already. I have no idea when we're going to go back to Eos and do this. Um, so we might forget about this stuff. Everything that's being said here. Sure seem to idolize her. Well, someone's a fan. No, I... I just like... Look, we need someone with her experience. That's all. Do we need a strategist? Is military strategy really what we need out here? Someone has to protect the Nexus. Can't afford to turn away allies. When you're ready to look, we can catch Hidari at Prodromos. Wouldn't mind tagging along. Okay. Pathfinder. Asari Pathfinder. Oh, she's a Pathfinder. Take Korra to speak with Hidaria on Eos. Well, I don't know when we're going to do that. So, unless it's... Unless Mass Effect Andromeda has these time-sensitive missions, which I don't think they do... Uh, we're not going there. Anything? Back again? Nothing new? Okay. See you later, Cora. I'll be here. Everybody says, there's something off about Cora's lips. Oh no, did this patch actually break more than it fixed? Should have seen it. Perfect drift. You know we've got a finite set of tires, right? Also limbs and lives. Well, what's the point of having them then? Okay, let's swap over to Jal's thing here. While gaining Ephra's trust, you have you have garnered the attention of the Rokar, a cell of Angaran fighters who hate all aliens. Jal has information about Rokar's leader, Aksul. Oh. All right, let's see. Let's see what he says. I don't know if this if these justify as loyalty missions. I don't think they would. 
I think it would be known that, hey, this is a loyalty mission, but I don't know. So, Maybe not. you've gained Ephra's trust. No easy feat. Trust, but not approval. I still don't think he likes me. That's just his way. You should be more worried about the Rokar. Ephra made it seem like you had experience with them. I know their leader, Aksul. We studied together under the Moshai, <laughs> but unlike me, he was a good student. The best, actually. Then he knows about Remnant? He did. <laughs> it's a long story. Give me the short version. Aksul was captured by the Ket. He spent a year in a forced labor camp before he managed to escape. Explains his hatred of aliens. Being captured by the cat and he didn't escape until a year. That's why he hates aliens. Yes, he suffered greatly. When Axul returned, he no longer cared about the remnant or anything except destroying the cat. Why not join the resistance? Aksul's not the type to follow orders. And I think he was bitter we weren't able to rescue him. So he formed the Rokar. We didn't give them much thought. But since your people arrived, his cause has grown. I want to reason with them. We need to stop them. I don't think you can reason with a bunch of raiders. When has that ever worked out in a game? I mean, we could try, I guess. Rather than just like going in there to kill, maybe a little conversation might be interesting, assuming that's what happens. Let's say that. I want to reason with them. I convinced Ephra I'm not a threat. Maybe I can do the same with Axul. <laughs> I admire your courage, but Axul's dangerous, and he lacks Ephra's pragmatism. He'll make you want to kill him. I have to try. If Helios is to be your home, I guess you'll have to deal with the Rokar one way or another. There's a recluse on Havarol who escaped with Axul from the Ket. Her name is Thaldir. She might know how to contact him. I'll send you the nerve point. Avarl. Hmm. That seems like a pretty big mission. I don't know if I want to do that just yet or not. I think it was always like that, says Remington's. So apparently tomorrow is a regional holiday here. Concert outside on Thursday. Not good. Wait, do you mean Friday? Or are they having a concert right now? Oh god. Get ready for power metal. Is there something else? A few more questions, if that's okay. Mm, well, we won't know till we try. We haven't asked these? And Gara, Ket Occupation. Let's say that. I want to learn more about your species. What would you like to know? Oh my god. Um. Do I really want to learn about this right now? I thought we asked these before. I guess not. Well, we're going to have to ask them now or ask them later. I guess we'll just do it now. A lot a lot of these sessions have been just like so much talking. It's like, oh my god. So much. I assume at least three days in a row going to be fun trying to write anything. Oh my god. What the heck, man. 
Religion and beliefs. Is there a central Angaran religion? There are many variations. An almanac could give you an accurate number. But if you are a believer, the essential tenet is after we die, we are reincarnated. We evolve to make our families strong. Born from what was before. Blessed to be better than before. Are you a believer? No. Mm, yes. <laughs> Sometimes. I don't know if it's the same for humans. Sahuna, my true mother, is a firm believer. That wasn't too bad, I guess. Uh, and Garin Colonies. Mid-mission crew talks. Andromeda, please. How many colonies do you have? On what planets? Since the Scourge, we've managed to survive on a small number of planets. What we know from before the Scourge is mostly oral history. We did have spaceflight, and the stories tell of five original colonies. Temperament. The Angara seem so open and free with their feelings. Are we? Hmm. Hmm. We're certainly not ashamed of our feelings. We're taught that feelings and beliefs should live on the outside, where they can be dealt with, honestly and openly. Don't people get hurt? Of course. Then everyone deals with it. That's the point. Biology. How long have you had electromagnetic capabilities? How do they evolve? No idea. Biology doesn't interest me, but I'm sure you can easily read up on it. That's disappointing. No biology at all? How do your eyeballs work? Okay, I get your point. Maybe I can find an Angara doctor to ask about your... whatever. Although, I used to know some facts. Like, the origins of our vestigial organs. Oh yeah! Humans have a coccyx, a vestigial tail. And I have webbed toes, just a couple, but Sarah doesn't. And she had wisdom teeth, but I didn't. Now you. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> The Moshe. Moshe, the Moshai? You studied with Moshai Sefa. Is she a teacher or a religious figure? She's many things. She's a clear thinker with deep knowledge and insight. She teaches and inspires. She is beloved. I love her. Many Angara seem to. L like, love, love? Say that. Really? So one of those professor-student things? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, not that way. Moshe Sefer is 115 of your years old. Old. Or maybe not old, I don't know. Well, enough about that. Cat occupation? Can you tell me more about the cat occupation? It's a difficult subject. I'll answer what I can. I may get emotional. Man, they seem like they gave Jal so many options in his dialogue the first time, like, the first couple of times you're talking with him compared to, like, everyone else. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's a new alien species and they feel like they maybe they have to explain a little bit more about how things work compared to... You know, Asari or Krogan or Turian or whatever, but he's really got a lot of dialogue compared to some of the other squad mates we have. Uh, Ket arrival? When the Ket came, why didn't you fight? They didn't give us a reason to. Until they did. Then it was too late. Perhaps you think we were weak. But the Ket are ruthless. They are masters at knowing exactly when and how to strike. I get that. Believe me. Ket and Archon. Have the Ket always been here? No. Some, like the Moshai, are old enough to remember the time before the Ket. But I don't. Nor do my mothers. And the Archon came with them? We think so. Resistance intel on that is unclear, and few have 
Seen him in person. And lived to tell? And lived to tell. Personal experience with Cat. What's living under the Cat been like for you? Do you really want to hear about these things? They're painful. Yeah, tell me. I asked, didn't I? It's like living on unstable ground. Every day brings more horrible news. I part company with someone not knowing if I'll ever see them again. When I was a boy, my father vanished from my life. One horrible day. Was he in the resistance? No. He was a technician at a mine. He went to work and didn't come home. That happens for an Angara child somewhere every single day. Okay. Well, enough about that. I think that's it. I'll see you later, John. Stay strong and clear. Stay strong and clear. Um, Remington says, wow, the dude voicing Jaw did no voiceovers before this. Pretty impressive. Wow, really? I guess would have been he's done this before, but I guess not. That is cool. Um, I think we're good. We did most of talking to people yesterday. There wasn't anything major. Again. I'll land you um, if you pay me back by tomorrow. Done. Thank you, Subi. Even these guys Some didn't really say anything new. For Couple of different emails. Wow. Really? Why would I get like new emails while I'm on here? Writing of writings of Sarissa Theris. I know you're busy, but Sarissa's manuals and writings really are worth mentioning if you get some downtime, especially A Rock in the Maelstrom, her classic work on crisis strategy and emergency response. The first three centuries, the new Huntress's Path. You can borrow the copy from that uh, Nasira gave me. Twelve Leaves, a mix of meditations and tactical insights that was co-written with someone called R. Tanaya. Speeches and Silences, this is about her experiences or experience in the Battle of Kirkus and all the politicking that led up to it. Uh, also has all the original battlefield vids of Sarissa shielding a city district with her biotics. Impressive. Essays from the Void contains her, in, her induction address to new commandos and a historical analysis of the first Asari Spectres. Okay. Facial Reconstruction from Lexi. Writer, I've completed an, my analysis of the injuries you suffered on Habitat 7 during the fall. Well, both falls, including the facial damage incurred when your helmet was shattered. Uh, those hairline subsurface fractures are mending nicely. I didn't even know I had anything wrong with my face. If you want to monitor the healing process, there's a facial reconstruction suite installed in the Tempest Med Bay. Exploring harsh environments can take its toll, after all. Uh, the suite can make any desired adjustments to your appearance quickly and safe. Paolo claims this, the suite runs on... Antiquated Xenon. I think that's one of his little jokes. So, well, actually, that might be something they introduced in the patch, maybe. Maybe these are things from the patch. This one in particular. Maybe it's like, hey, if you don't like the way your character looks, you can... You can uh, recreate your character if you want. I don't know. Okay, well... I was going to click a uh, mission to do, but we'll just go back to um, Havarl. Landing zone. All right. So we have the Turian salvage thing where we have to go around to like, I don't know, like maybe 10 different things uh, for the Turians to 
pick up. Dying planet is to go see the sages or something in the sanctuary and ask about the third um, monolith that's missing. And then the Jal thing is something that we just got when we were talking to him about uh, the Rokar. So let's go see some stuff. Let's go see some stuff. Um, we're going to take Jal. I think we're going to... Let's change out PB. Let's keep Jal. Let's, uh, let's check out Drac. I think Drac and Jal might be a, a pretty good combo here. I don't need to change anything on my weapons really so but what kind of assault rifles do I have yeah not very good okay. from loadout all right so we'll land back on the planet and then try to wrap up some of these missions Entering atmosphere LZ in sight Wrap up some missions. Oh, those are those, um, those things. They're called mantas. Those things in the sky that we saw when we first arrived on this planet and stuff. Called mantas. Because I was looking, uh, I started reading some stuff this morning a little bit in the codex. And uh, I stumbled upon that again, and it was called man Mantas, which is cool. Um, oh, okay, that's that area that we thought was an entrance to the vault, but it was someone's house that was locked. Okay. So we have the Tannis Debris to go and pick... This is where the sages or something are. So I guess for now we'll just focus on getting all the debris and stuff like that, I guess. See what's going on. Everybody says, oh god, tomorrow comes out the entire new season of Orange is the New Black on Netflix. I guess I don't need sleep. Someone's gonna binge watch. Heard of that show, never watched it. So don't have Netflix. So hopefully we can finish up most of this planet um, as much as we can. I know we're going to have to come back here. Um... But hopefully we can manage to finish most of this stuff within the next, I don't know, hour or hour and a half or something. And then we can land on Volt and, and check out that planet a little bit. Where's the first one at? Okay, it's coming up here. I'm going to have to refer to the, to the map uh, rather than the compass thing because... I don't know how far away we are from stuff. Boffin, what's up, man? Cat! Protect Sylvia! Wait, there's Cat where? I mean, you made it sound like Cat were right here, man. Ark Natalis Debris, tagged for salvage. Oh, we just got to tag it for salvage. Okay, gotcha. Debris from the Ark Natanis. Okay, cool. Um, let's go to this one first. Hopefully there's not a lot of enemies, because, I mean, we cleared the, most of the stuff out, but who knows. You leave the planet, you come back, I'm sure the, the enemies probably respawn somewhat. Yep, like, there's enemies up ahead here. So 
somewhere over there. Arknatanis debris, tagged for salvage. I wonder if we have to scan all of these things or just a set number. I don't know. Let's see about it. But... Okay, there's a thing over there. There's bugs and then there's raiders. Great. All these raiders respawn, man. Are you kidding me? I gotta fight all of these enemies all over again. Just try to stop Ow. That kinda sucks. I don't know where you shoot me from, bud, but... Over here? No. I think there's one. There's probably like a sharpshooter around here. Oh no, it's just this guy. Alright, not too bad. Oh great, there's a thing over there. Okay, well, whatever's over here. Debris tagged for salvage. Okay, this area is clear. Let's see. Oh no. Ow. I don't even know if we get XP for killing things like that. There are things down there. Tannis debris, tagged for salvage. Painter. Alright, let's go this way now. I really hope that... Man, that's kind of a bummer that all these things respond. Wait, they respawn all the stuff when you came back to this planet? That's lame, yeah. Like, literally everything just, like, respawned. So, it's like, if we want to go and explore this planet again, like, we have to fight all those things all over again, which is Off lame. The debris, tagged for salvage. 
Like I said, I don't, I don't know if you get XP for... Um... I don't know if you get XP for killing things. I mean, I guess we could check, right? I've got 751 right now. Let's get into a battle and see if we actually earn anything. I mean, it's basically just these raiders and then whatever wildlife is around. Ooh. I better get behind a tree and stuff. There's also stuff over here, too. Oh my god, are you kidding me, bro? Are you actually serious? I didn't think anyone was up there. Please tell me no one can see me here. Oh my god, okay, alright. Alright, alright, alright. I kill the thing. Yeah, you don't get you don't get XP for killing things. Man, this is really lame. Like, maybe it makes sense. Maybe you have to deal with the Rokar. Uh, that Rokar mission that we have. And then stuff will happen. Like, they don't respawn, but... I don't know, man. You don't get XP for... You don't get XP for killing enemies and they respawn. What? Why is that a good idea? Oh, come on, bro. Okay, there's things over there. Let's go back over here and heal. 